What's going on, everybody? Real quick PSA uh, reveal was 10 cards. I did the uh, $15 special. A couple of these were add-ins just so I can get 10 cards out. Didn't think I would have enough throughout the month, and lo and behold, I did push a second order out that was received, I want to say yesterday or the day before. This stuff here will be in a future video, stuff coming in the mail. So, up first, we picked this up at the last uh, J&J All-Star show. Pick the best one the guy had. Thought it'd be a 10. Came back a 9. I think 9's do 36 to $38 roughly onto it. I paid $5 for the card. I had 15 to grade. So in it for 20 Basically, once I uh, sell it, I'll probably make, you know, $7, $8 on it. Not huge, huge gains on it, but, you know, it's still in the positive. That's all I look for. The next two cards I picked up in Lexington. I really thought this was a solid nine. But it's the UD3, the big picture Jordan, PSA 8. Uh, this will be something that will go out to consignment as well, too. It, it'll basically, like I said, it'll make me maybe five to eight bucks on it when it's all said and done. Same with this. Thought another one was a solid nine. Came back in eight. I know. They got me on a couple. But... As I get older, I must be missing something. But the UD flight team, never seen this Kobe before. When I saw what a 10 was doing, I was like, wow, this looks like at least a good 9. Yep, I was off again. So again, those three there will go out to consignment to DC Sports more than likely, or Com C, and then I'll auction through them. One of the two, I haven't decided yet. Uh, this here was actually in a value box. I got it for, I think, $5, if I remember right. Giovanni Reina, um autograph, trying to get the focus a little bit better, and it is. There we go. Crystal, this is out of the Premier UCL, Crystal Auto. It, it don't sell for much. I think it goes for like 40 50 bucks in a 10, if that. It used to be a little bit more heavier, some of the soccer guys worth more. Up next, my Yager. I'm really happy with this. Came back in 8.5. And you're probably saying, why are you happy you came back in 8.5? When you look at these cards, um, for some reason, whoever Upper Deck used, a lot of this top borders on the bottom board, or edges, I should say, look like it's little, you can see whiting the whole way on to it. I, I wish I had my bigger camera up to show you guys. I would show it. I was thinking it was a solid 8. I bought this raw just because it is Yager. It's on card. Come back in 8.5. I'll take that half grade more. Definitely, definitely take the half grade more. Really happy with this. The very first J&J &J All-Star Midwest Monster. We're talking two summers ago. First card I bought was this here, walking around. The 98 Bowman's Best Jogger Auto came back a 9. That's what I wanted to see. Or I would really love to see a 10, don't get me wrong. But I really thought this was a solid 9 when I bought it. Um, there is no 10s in this. And I believe there's only a handful. I'm talking about 4 to 5 maybe of uh, these graded at 9. It's a real low pop. So really happy with that. Very, very happy. Oh, I should have told you uh, a lot of this is going to be hockey and a few basketball. No football. Sorry, sorry. Forgot Wildcat. You're probably cussing me out. All right, 2016 Upper Deck Goalie Nightmares. Believe it or not, very low pop in the 30s. PSA 10. This is another one. I got this for $3. 10s, I believe, were selling, I want to say it's around $80, $90. So really good profit margins onto this when I go to move it eventually. But Connor McDavid. This here, I do had a centering issue. I figured it'd be a 9, came back a 9. Uh, the marquee rookie, this is the rainbow color wheel that uh, Upper Deck does. I like it a lot better. But just that left right centering onto it, got it a 9. I can't remember what I got into the card completely. I think I won it for like 35 on an auction. So I'm in it for 50 I think the last one just sold around 65 So it's kind of break even, but I'll probably be one of those holds. This here was another one that was in the boxes. I think he had it marked for $3. I got it for $2. SP Authentic Crosby from 08. These go for about $35, $36. Again, not real huge profit gains onto it. But 
every little bit will help down the road whenever I decide to, you know, sell some of this stuff to move it in. Well, minus the augers, um, to move it into something bigger. This here, one of the most surprising ones in the bunch, 2009. I got this from the Lexington's card show probably four or five months ago. I think it was either, no I think it was November's. If not, it was definitely in October, one of the two. Been sitting here waiting to be graded, right? Paid eighty dollars for the card. Came back at ten. I was ecstatic until I looked it up. There was a ten just sold for seventy six dollars of this card, and the raw sales are like up around fifty bucks a pop. I don't get it. Makes no sense to me. So this is one of them cards I will hold for probably a while. I really like these. This was the uh, forty eight style they called it, and. Really just a really good looking card. Pretty cool. That was my 10 cards, guys. Wanted to get the little show and tell onto these before some of these get locked up uh, away for a while into the other, uh, what do you call it, Zion looking case things. There will be a video coming out of all my pickups. It'll probably be sometime either the next video after this or the video after that. I just haven't decided where it's going to fall. Depends what comes in the mail on Saturday. Today is Friday and I'm doing this video. Also, I want to do the... What do you call it? The Cards HQ video. My, there's a lot to say on the Cards HQ. That's all I got to say. Um, it's going to be a different type of video. I will warn you ahead of time. I'm guaranteeing it's going to be 20 to 25 minutes. There's a lot I want to cover with Cards HQ. And it's one of those videos that I really hope somehow along the way Jeff Wilson sees it and listens to what I have to say. At least throws it in the back of his mind like maybe he knows something and maybe it'll help benefit his store in the long run. Because again, I don't wish ill will to anybody opening up a store and everything, but there's a lot being out there. I think a lot of others, I'm not going to say all, there's at least three or four other uh, guys on YouTube that have, will critique it or have critiqued it pretty hard. But there's a lot when he opened up for the, I don't know if you want to call it the influencer early pre-party thing that he did, where everybody probably fluffed him up saying it was going to be the greatest thing and everything. Well, opening day was just yesterday and wow. But we're going to touch all this in a future video, so stay tuned for that one. All right, guys, that is all I got. Take care. I'm out.